Hey everyone, thanks for watching those Ark Overland Avengers. I'm Matt, and this is my three-year-old Dometic CFX-50. I'm Kara, this is my CFX-355IM, which means ice maker. Pretty brand new. Brand new, we've had this a month? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe a month? Well, we went, we went to Oklahoma. Yeah, we had it then. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what we want to do is compare these two. Since we actually own both of these that were purchased, none of these were given to us. Uh, I purchased no, both of these. There's no, this was a Christmas gift three years ago. <laughs> Thank you. He didn't know he wanted it. I didn't. Now I can't live without it. Um, but since we own both of these, we want to compare them um, and let you know which one's more efficient, walk you through some of the differences. If you own this one, is this one worth the upgrade? And if you don't own either one of them. You should. You need to own one. You need to own one. Um, <laughs> Which one should you get if this one's still available? This one has been discontinued by the medic, but there are still some places you can find them online. That they have some vendors that still have them yeah. left over and stuff. You can find a good deal on them. Jackery 500 I just got um, just to see how long this will run because it does have the ice maker this one obviously doesn't it's an older model so this one's supposed to be more energy efficient so we want to kind of compare the two compare this with the ice maker versus this without the ice maker yeah we're gonna plug both of them into the Jackery this one twice one with the ice maker running see how long it lasts mm -hmm. one without the ice maker running see how long it lasts and then we're gonna plug this one in and see how long it lasts and does that happen there? Uh, we did, this one I have been able to run in my Jeep and let it sit for a couple days and still be able to start my Jeep. This has actually made my battery go dead in my Jeep. Yeah, this one we were disappointed at first because we had the, well, we had the ice maker setting on this because we, because that's the cool new feature. It's a selling point that differentiates this from the competition. Yeah. What we have learned is that the ice maker on this has a significant impact on yeah. battery drain. Um, like we couldn't let this sit overnight in her Jeep with the ice maker turned on and it not hit the voltage cutoff. Yeah. Um, like I said, this one I could sit for days. And honestly, and that's why I got the Jackery because it was concerning. Because yeah. if I do go out, I don't want to be stranded. So I got the Jackery. Not only did I get the Jackery, I got it. A jump start kit for my Jeep. Yeah, just like, to be safe. I just don't want to be stranded. Um, but since getting the Jackery and playing around with this, not having the ice maker on makes this a lot more efficient. Which sucks. which sucks if you're out away from civilization. Sometimes you just want some ice in your drinks and just know that if you're running this with the ice maker, it's going to significantly impact your runtime with the battery. Honestly, uh, the ice we'll see here in a minute, yeah. they're not that big, so it's not a deal breaker for me still. So, differences, obviously, mainly aesthetic on the outside. I think they have done a great job improving the look of this thing. This just looks kind of more clunky and, I don't know. Mine's um, a lot cleaner. Not smoother. Like streamlined. It's very, I don't know. The front is much smoother compared to this. Um, I just think they have done a good job changing the look of these fridges. Yeah. Um, this one's much better if you like to put stickers on yours because it's all flat as opposed to, to mine. And whereas he likes his stickers, I like the insulation. The insulation on this one is a lot nicer than that one. It's very compact and streamlined and again, very, very smooth. Yeah, they, they've really improved the insulation and how it looks and fits on the new CFX3s yeah. compared to this one. I don't own the insulation of this one. I actually have a friend who does and he just says it's not worth it. It's all Velcro and how it attaches and it's just ugly and I, I don't like it. This one attaches with the zipper. It fits nice and tight and sleek and looks like it's part of the fridge. And it's, uh, a really, it's really hard to fit on. It's like- It's not easy because it fits so tight. It's very well. But yeah. we'll show you that um, in a little bit. Um, let's see, what else? Aesthetic wise, turn this please, babe. Um, You'll see the front, this has, they both have very strong, sturdy metal handles. This has plastic covering it. I love the fact that the metal's exposed here, makes it look just a little nicer. The display on this one is a little bit nicer, has a better L, um, LED 
read out there. Mm -hmm. This one's just a little analog gauge. Um, this one has a Bluetooth though now, that one. Both of these you can connect to an app. This one uses Wi-Fi, which works, but the problem with it is if you're if you have it turned on and you're, you know, have it sitting in your garage, sometimes your phone will compete and try to decide, do I want to connect to the domestic Wi-Fi or do I want to connect to the house Wi-Fi? And that's that's not that's not good. Honestly, Obviously, I just keep my Wi-Fi off. Yeah, well that's because yours has Bluetooth. Yeah, Her this one has a Bluetooth connection as well as Wi-Fi, so you have options with this. And Bluetooth obviously takes away that limitation. Um, I think works just a little bit better. It does work better, but I'm not really impressed with the app um, because the app itself, like at first I was really excited because you can check your temperature and you can also set your temperature. You can turn off the ice maker just all in your app. So if it's in the back of your vehicle, you can just adjust it. Um, however, there's also a voltage cutoff threshold that it's supposed to send a notification to you and alert you when that does cut off. It doesn't. Um, you have to be in the app to see that. And so I, I don't like yeah, it can't. If the app's running in the background, notification doesn't work. Yeah. If the app's going to shut down, the notification doesn't no. work. Like, um, I, I pulled it up. That's how we found out my battery was dead. I pulled it up just to check it, just because, you know, I like to check it. But, yeah. Um, but, I mean, really, interior space. Let's... The interior space on these looks almost identical. I did some measurements. The measurements are almost identical, but one weird thing that I was racking my brain out, the interior space of this one is rated at 46 liters. Yeah, this one's 53 liters. And I could not figure out where Dometic found seven extra liters of space <laughs> when the measurements were almost identical except for a quarter of an inch uh, width-wise. You had to phone a friend. So <laughs> I called my buddy Blake, who works for Dometic, um, and he explained to me that the interior space of the CFX50 is just in this main compartment. This tray here is not counted because this is not actively cooled. Um, this sits over the compressor and there's no active cooling in the space. They call this the, the veggie tray or a dairy tray. And this is where I like to keep my, my eggs. And yeah, and this one, I have a tray, an actual tray. He doesn't have a tray over there. No, uh, but this is where the ice maker sits in the CFX3. And this is now actively cooled. So that's why they rate this at 53 liters and this one's at 46 because this is now actively cooled in the CFX3. There's and two ice maker packages like this, which they're really little, but yeah, kind of. Little silicon ice trays that fit in the compartment and turn the ice maker on and it will freeze that because there's a freezing plate there. Yeah. Um, but as far as your finger space goes, it's the same. They both have these main baskets with dividers. Uh, the baskets are basically the same size. They both have the LED lighting. I think that's it. Um, we're going to put these on the Jackery yeah. and see how long they last. Um, this will probably take a good week to record all this and we'll document it along the way. But uh, I think we're going to start with this with the ice maker turned on. Yeah, we're going to put the and insulation and we're going to run it like I would in my, just if I was to go yeah. you know, on my own. We're going to run it with the insulation on, we're going to run it with the ice maker on, and then we're actually going to take the insulation off because that's going to give you the better comparison between these two and turn the ice maker off because obviously that doesn't have the ice maker. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. For all three of these tests, we're going to get the temperatures to 34 degrees off AC power then take them and plug them into the Jackery 500 and see how long they last. Inside, they each have two two liter bottles of water just to have something in there to help regulate the temperature. And we'll see how this goes. Right now, this one has the ice maker turned on. So we're gonna get it down to temperature, get that ice frozen, and then move it to the Jackery. All right, the temperature's down to 34 degrees. Ice maker's on. Jackery's at 100%. Currently on DC power. The time is now 12-11 on Saturday, December 12th. Let's see how this goes. Well, 
quick update here. It is 1.38, so it's been less than an hour and a half, and the Jackery's already gone down 10%, and you can see it keeps track of the output. And with the ice maker on, it's constantly running between 20 and 40 watts, um, which is just uh, a lot. It is 10.07, so this has been running almost 10 hours and the Jackery is only at 45%. It's still pulling 40 watts. It is 5.29 a.m. I'm not wearing my watch, so you have to trust me. And it just went off. So it did not make it 24 hours. It made it once, 17 hours. Um, which if you are camping for a couple days somewhere, that's uh, not gonna cut it with the ice maker on. Hey guys, so we have finished the test with the ice maker and the insulation on the Jackery. Last is 17 hours. Honestly, that's kind of disappointing, but if you're only going somewhere for a day, it could be helpful to have, just to have that ice maker going. But again, it's not a deal breaker. But we've stripped everything off. We have the ice maker off, we have the insulation off, so that way we can kind of compare it to Max. Um, CFX 50 and just kind of see how this does on here. So we're gonna hook this up. It is now 104. So yeah, we're just gonna take that out. Let's see. There we go. Here we go. Let's see how it does. All right, quick update. It has now officially been 24 hours since we hooked up the CFX 355IM to the Jackery Explorer 500, and the Jackery is sitting at 60%. Good morning. It is 7.42 a.m. on the 15th, so this is full day number two. By my calculations, roughly, we've been at 41 hours, 42 hours, 41, 42 hours. Um, with this running, it is... 32 degrees in there and the Jackery is, come on, there we go, um, still at 26%. Well, finally, it is 9.01 on Tuesday night and the Jackery has finally died, which puts us at 48, 55% ish hours i don't know i'll do the math later um but that's it all right it is 801 on wednesday morning the jackery is back up to 100 percent the cfx 50 is chilled down to 34 let's see how long this lasts quick update here it is 8 38 thursday morning so this has been running just a little over 24 hours and is at 66 percent it is 8 38 a.m on friday so it's been a little over 48 hours and the jackery is at 31 percent on the old dometic cfx 50. it is 5 36 a.m I don't have my watch on. You'll have to trust me. And the Jackery, oops, just died. That's a long time. Okay, well, it has taken us an entire week plus some to do this test and figure out the results. So, the results are in. The results are in. In last place. I got a cheat sheet. Is the Dometic CFX355 IM with the ice maker turned on? Don't be a hater. It came in at an abysmal <laughs> 17 hours. It is too. Abysmal is abysmal. not the word. No, it's not. Abysmal, yes, it is. No, it's not. Hey, Google, what is the definition of abysmal? Here's the definition of abysmal. Extremely bad. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> abysmal, it's the word. I don't say words you can't spell. Today on your vocabulary lesson, <laughs> abysmal. The word of the day is abysmal. Spell it, please. Yes, abysmal. A-B-Y? <laughs> I have the Y there. 
Uh -huh. Okay, can we get back to this? Sure. Yes. And the abysmal results is 17 hours and 18 minutes. It's sad. That's it. Not even 24 hours running with the ice maker on the Jackery 500. Good solution. You can have ice all the time if you leave this in your vehicle and you're on the move because then you don't have to worry about it. But if you're going to be off grid and unplug it, unplugged and or just plugged into a, a battery for extended periods of time, you don't want to run the ice maker. You saw the ice trays. It's really not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> in second place, also the CFX 355IM with the ice maker turned off. Almost 56 hours, two and a half days running just off the Jackery 500. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that's, I was, I was actually shocked. I was expecting 48 ish in two and a half days. We do what we can. Yeah, that's a good job. <laughs> However, blowing the CFX 355, I am away. Of course. The old school CFX 50 came in at 69 hours and 36 minutes. Almost. Three full days. The vintage antique Almost trash three. panda. And that was inside the house with a the thermometer mm -hmm. set at 74 degrees. So if you are outside now in the wintertime, yeah. you can probably get maybe four days or more. And if you have the insulation, maybe. And the insulation would help a little bit too. <clears throat> so anyway, very impressive. So now the question, if you have this, is it worth the upgrade to this? I mean, you get more cooled space in here, so technically this is better. Eh. Eh. They have the same interior volume. This has yes, it's more space, more, more cool. actively cooled space because of the ice tray. And you but have the, the interior volume is the same. You do have the option of ice. But is it worth is it worth going from this paying a thousand dollars plus for this? Is this more of a, Is this still available? In some places, yes. In some places, in some there's places. the catch. Yes. If you can you find, it. here's the advice. If you can find this new, I'd get this one. Yeah, we'll be at that one for sale. It is not. <laughs> I love this. If you can find this new, I'd say get this one. If you can find this the good quality used, I'd say get this one. Um, but there's no denying this one is incredible. The ability to make ice, none of the competition can do that. It's just a hater. It's just, it looks a lot better. It I does. do like the look of it a lot better. It, mean, is, it is a much better looking fridge, but. Uh, yeah. And it's a more cold area. It does have more. And you have the option yeah. of ice. Yes. So, we definitely love this. I still love this. This one is the efficiency champion. You want a trophy? I do. Thank you. You there? <laughs> Let me go get one of the wise men. They look trophy -ish. <laughs> So, anyway, both fantastic fridges. Very impressed by both of their run times. Um, if you don't have a fridge and are in the market of a fridge, highly recommended the medic. They are fantastic. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for uh, watching our antics. Yeah. Um, Click anyway. this bell. Make it ring. Make it rain. Subscribe. Yeah. Follow. Tweet. Pin to your Pinterest board. How about? Like the video, oh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, love all it. that stuff. You don't love it? I do. No, there's no love. That's, That's Facebook cool. and Instagram. You should love it. Oh my gosh. I'll see what happens with it. <laughs> anyway, we hope you found this helpful. If yeah. you're trying to decide whether or not this one's worth it, fantastic fridge. It is because it's mine and it's got more room and it can make ice. All that. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. And action. Come on. Hang on. I gotta check the audio levels. Hey. Check one, two, check one, two. I okay. got a woman. Check one, Way two. Way over town. Okay, we'll get That's good for me. She give me money when I'm in need. Okay. Yeah, she's a trifling man indeed. The abysmal results of the CFX 355 IM with the ice maker turned on 17 hours and 18 minutes. And for all the folks in Arkansas, abysmal is a word and it means really bad. We just established that with the Google. I'm just letting them know. We well, already had that with the Google. That's I didn't know if you. Oh, okay. Let's go in there. Okay, no Yeah, you'll have to do that. You already got the last Yeah, we're good. Right. Never mind. Again. Forget Arkansas. Take four. And the abysmal results. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Okay. <laughs> Almost 56 hours, a 
day and a half. Almost. <laughs> 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 That's two days. <laughs> Six hours. Yeah, 56. I think 57. There you go. <laughs> there we go. All right, right, right. Almost 50 set. <laughs> That's us. No. Those are like Carverland Adventures. No. That's us. Check out Frankie at Overlanding Rentals. Oh. Over Overland Rentals. Check out Frankie at, at Overland. Okay. <clears throat>